We've had many questions over the past week or two. We promise to answer them during the lesson. We can't get to answer all the questions. And these are beautiful questions. We get them from many places all over the world in all the languages. So our friends translated these questions into Hebrew. And we um, sorted them out. And now we will hear these questions and answer them. So let's have a lesson of questions and answers today. For at least part of the lesson, and then perhaps we'll um, study the regular material. Okay, the first question came from Bnei Barak. The question is, what is an incarnation? What does the Lord mean when it says that it can take you a thousand incarnations to realize Alashimo? An incarnation, as Baha'u Salaam explains, where is it? Can you find a place for me? And Rabash also explains to what point should one reincarnate, page 150. Okay, then find it and read it. An incarnation means, well, for now, our incarnations are incarnations in our lives. As he says that every generation is like a line of soldiers. You know, the whole of humanity stands like that, carrying out a, cer a certain Rashimo, dies, meaning the bodies die, goes into another Rashimo, meaning the soul dresses in a new body in order to realize the next Rashimo. And that's how the Rashimo are realized from life to life. These are the corporal Rashimo, but this does not determine a spiritual Rashimo that begin only from the point in the heart onwards. So through history, from say 50,000 years ago or so, when we can already see that there was man on earth, so until 5,768 years ago, when Adam began his development with a point in the heart for the first time, and so on. Many, 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 many incarnations continued. There was Babylon here in the middle, the exodus from Egypt, and so on. Until this generation, which is unique because in it we're beginning to feel the points in the heart, meaning the beginning of the soul, the kli that we'll have to build, the point in many people. So from now onwards, from now on, our, our incarnations are not one where we go from state to state only to realize the corporal issue, meaning corporal meaning in order to receive. So to only come to a state where here we discover the evil in us, the recognition of evil, and we want spiritual development, advancement, which is the special thing about our time. It's the first time in history that we are discovering that the previous development, the previous incarnations were bad. We have to begin to realize ourselves with a correction of our soul. A part that's completely detached from the corporal body, from corporal desires. So here we have a body which is called a beast, or the anime degree. That's our body you know, the one I take to the doctor. We have a body called the desire for ourselves, my ego, ego, right? And we have a body called a soul, which is a desire to bestow. To give to others. To others means either, well, others or Creator, it's all the same. That's what we learn. So, several bodies. 
And in these bodies too, they are divided into spirituality. When we talk about the body, it's a spiritual body. Spiritual body. So in it too, we say that there's the body of Klippa, of Tushan, the body of Noga, and so on. So an incarnation means I realize that she how do I realize that she wants spirituality? So we have Aleph Shoresh, from which I grow into Roshimo Bet Aleph, from that to Gimel Bet, etc. So every time I realize that Roshimo, or rise from degree one and begin to grow in the 125 degrees, every time I rise from one degree to the next, as with these incarnations, it's called being in, in, incarnating. So, either we say about the incarnations, either we're talking about corporal incarnations, when we return to this life, and then we move from life to life so that the evilness will accumulate, and we will achieve the recognition of evil, and that's it. Or we're talking about spiritual incarnations. When we move from one degree to the next, when we realize the Shemot. Yes.